Hello, I'm Jacob Viña. Welcome to my first video. I'm going to show you how I've made this customized pest dispenser. First of all, I took a regular pest dispenser with a Velociraptor head from the film Jurassic World. I sanded it all with a very fine sandpaper and then covered it with two coats of grey acrylics scale model primer. Then I painted the head with a first green color layer using Vallejo Acrylic Studio Paint. For the body I use a Citadel Dark Steel Acrylic Paint. I wanted to give the head some extra detail, so I paint the lower part with a clearer color and the back with a more bluish green. After that, it was the time for a dark wash. I used a black wash from Vallejo. The result was a three-tone base color with very dark shade details. Next, I gave a general paint layer using the dried brush technique to get the mid-tones. I continued adding more dry brush layers with lighter colors in the chin, neck and top of the snout. As this Velociraptor was going to be blue from the Jurassic World films, I added some bluish details in the sides of the head, painting some scales and little dots until I was happy with the effect. For the body of the dispenser, I first used Vallejo Acrylic Studio Yellow, but it didn't cover so well. So I decided to use a Posca marker. These markers use a very fluid water-based ink with matte finish, and it's very easy to apply, so I use them quite often. It turned to be a good idea, as I wanted a rusty water kind of an old industrial paint effect. I applied yellow as base color, including the contours of the letters, then white for the bevels and finally red for the body of the letters, inspired by Jurassic Park's lettering style. I weathered the whole body using the same black wash of the head, using thicker paint for some darker spots and dry brushing some brushed stains. I tried not to soak the Posca ink in water as it is soluble and it could be washed away. Then it was the turn for the last detail, the eyeballs. I used red, orange and yellow Posca ink. You 
you can mix them easily to achieve the desired color. Finally, I paint the pupil with black acrylic and a little white spot on the top using Posca ink and a toothpick. Finally, I remove the masking tape of the mechanism and fit it in the head. And here is the result. If you like this video and want to see more of my little creations, please subscribe.